Just a coincidence, four, possibly five Republican governors, each with dreams of being on the presidential ticket in 2012, are talking about not accepting money for projects in their state, money from the stimulus plan. Just a coincidence. Fourth story on the countdown, putting their national partisan future desires ahead of their constituents' bipartisan immediate needs. To say nothing of the reality gap, state lawmakers in each case could overrule them and take the money anyway. Former governor, former DNC chair Howard Dean will join us with reaction in a moment. The chairman of the Republican Governors Association, Governor Mark Sanford of South Carolina, has led this charge among certain GOP governors against the stimulus, quoting, the spending plan will prove to be an absolute disaster. The bottom line is it's horrible. Today, Sanford did confess that being against the plan, quote, doesn't preclude taking the money. Governor Sanford's prior bloviation on this actually inspired a special provision in the stimulus bill. Democratic Congressman James Clyburn included language that basically forces governors to publicly accept or decline the federal aid. The provision then empowers a state's legislature to accept the money even if the governor does not. So certain Republican governors can take the time to complain about the so-called strings attached to the money even when their states are experiencing crushing shortfalls in balancing their budgets. Like Governor Bobby Jindal of Louisiana, his state faces a budget gap of more than one and one half billion next year. Governor Rick Perry of Texas quoting, we need the freedom to say no thanks. And Governor Haley Barber of Mississippi, it is no coincidence that many of these governors may be presidential or vice presidential contenders in 2012, including Governor Palin, who has also griped about the stim. I wish he, that would be the president, would veto it and send it back until our lawmakers can read it and know what's in it. We're holding our breath on that. Joining me now, as promised, the former chair of the Democratic National Committee and former Governor Howard Dean. Thanks for uh, coming in in person, sir. Hey, thanks for having me on. First time I've ever been in this studio. I know it's not the first time on your show, but, but it is totally underwhelming. Isn't yeah, it is great. Um, it, these governors know, or they should know, that that they can be overruled by the states. D does that not make the political ambition contained in this? Uh, obvious to almost anybody and kind well, of embarrassing. First of all, people who are pretty well respected, like Charlie Crist of Florida, are going to take the money, and the majority of Republicans will take the money. Look, it's legitimate to talk about whether you want to take the money or not. It's not legitimate in the middle of the biggest fiscal crisis mm -hmm. that we've had to tell your people in your state that their taxes are going up because you refuse on political grounds to take this money. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. I'm, I'm fascinated by Governor Crist's response because, of course, not only is he taking the money, but he um, introduced President Obama in Florida to talk about this plan, and he is now talking about additional money and additional waivers that would allow him to get more money out of the stimulus, more money out of the federal government. Who rewards him politically in this polarized time? Because obviously the Republicans will come after He's him for find cooperating. Out the voters will reward him. You know, it's something is, it's interesting that these five governors are doing this mm -hmm. because when I was governor, which was for a long time, and also chairman of the Governors Association. Governors, Republican or Democrat, are much more kind of uh, bipartisan than Congress people. When you're a governor, most of the reasonable solutions as to how to fix problems are in the middle someplace. And you have to actually do something. So you, this kind of posturing is unusual for governors. You don't usually see this. You usually see Democratic and Republican governors pretty much on the same page. Well, how does it work in Louisiana, particularly in that sense, which is still requiring as much aid as, as probably we can give them on a national level? Uh, and Bobby, yeah. Bobby Jindal's position is that from not having been there long enough, or what? Where? How could you? How could you? No, this is, Keith. This is just politics. That's all it is, and it's a bad time for politics. Mm -hmm. I think one of the messages of President Obama is: Look, let's, can't we just put this politics aside? Barack Obama is in the White House today because his message was the younger generation's message to my generation, which is please stop fighting about all this mm -hmm. stuff and get something done where we can agree. And the Republican Party hasn't gotten that yet. Not one of them voted for the stimulus package in the House. Only three voted for it in the Senate. Their tactic is the same tactic as they used in 1994 against Bill Clinton. It is not going to work. We have a different electorate. They're fed up with this. They've seen what happens when you behave like that, and they're not going to put up with it. I think the Republican Party is making a huge mistake, and I think these five governors are making a big mistake politically to do this, because their own people mm -hmm. are going to say, what do you mean? Our taxes are going to go up one and a half billion dollars in Louisiana, or our kids aren't going to go to school for three weeks. What? Uh, who's? I hate to put it in these terms, but who, who's more responsible, uh, th these governors or uh, somebody like Senator Bond of Missouri, who is out on the campaign trail, essentially in Missouri, taking credit for aspects of the stimulus bill that he brought to Missouri and these jobs and this money and all the rest when he voted against it? He's taking credit for something he voted he's against. He's in trouble, though. Um, I mean, he's going to have a really strong opponent. I think Robin Carnahan, who's an extraordinary Secretary of State, is going to mm -hmm. run against him. Uh, and he knows he's in trouble. And he, that's a tough vote for him to go home and explain now.
people people are not stupid. I think one of the things that that got the Republicans in so much trouble is that they assumed that voters were dumb and they wouldn't notice if they voted no in Washington and then came home and took credit for the stuff that the people liked in Missouri. You can't do that. You've got to make a principled stand. If you make a principled stand on what you believe in and mm -hmm. vote no, then you can go home and sell the no right. and people will respect you for it. But what you can't do is vote no and then go ahead and pretend you didn't vote that way because people don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, and they don't like it if Democrats do it yeah. either. Well, from the position of, of having just recently been the head of the DNC, is there, what is, is the Republican, you had the 50 state strategy. Right. Is the Republican strategy the, the no state strategy? What, what is going well, on they, here? Look, to be serious about this, they have, uh, we, it took us a long time to recover from the mistakes that we made. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest mistake we made, uh, honestly, was not to talk about our values. We talked about issues and not values because every consultant was watching us. Oh, don't talk about our values. God, you might... Well, the Republicans figured this out a long time ago. And it took us a while to kind of turn the ship around, and then we finally realized we had to be in every state talking to every American about our values. They have this bloodletting to do about mm -hmm. who's going to run this party. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the far right, these far, four, five governors, are these folks? Is it going to be the old-style right wing, or is it going to be a new kind of Republican? And I, they aren't going to ever win unless they can reorient this party to talk about things the American people care about. Voting, getting all their votes against the stimulus package is a losing strategy because people are going to see them as obstructionist. And it's one thing to be obstructionist at a time where politics matters. Mm -hmm. People are scared. Yep. They don't want any of this kind of stuff. They want this stuff to go away and stop. It's why Barack Obama won. Not so much just because he was a Democrat and the Republicans screwed everything up. It's because his message was, it's time to stop this. It's time to come together. Republicans haven't gotten the message yet, and they're going to have to get it in order for them to succeed as a party. Indeed. Governor Howard Dean, former chairman of the Democratic National Committee, great pleasure to see you, sir. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming in.